Hey everybody, it's One Cast One Fish, and today we're going to be talking about the three fish finders in the Garmin Striker 4 series. The Garmin Striker 4, the Garmin Striker Plus 4, and the Garmin Striker Plus 4 CV. We're going to take a look at all the specs and see what makes these three fish finders different. And at the end, you should be able to make a more informed decision about what Garmin Striker 4 fish finder is right for you and your needs. We're going to start by diving into the specs and see what sets these fish finders apart. The first thing we'll see is the dimensions. You can see that the Garmin Striker 4 is a tad bit smaller than both the Striker Plus and the Plus CV. You'll notice the Garmin Striker 4 has a 3.5 inch display screen while the Plus 4 and the Plus 4 CV both have a 4.3 inch screen. As you'll see because the dimensions are a little bit larger with the Plus 4 and the Plus 4 CV they also have a tiny bit of an additional weight, but not much that would make any difference. The one thing I do want to point out in the specs real quick across all three fish finders is that all three are IPX7 certified. In the case of all three Garmin Striker fish finders, that IPX7 certification rating means that your Striker 4 can be submerged in water up to 3 feet 3 inches without any risk of water intrusion into the casing. Next, I want to draw your attention to the transmitting power of each of these three fish finders. You'll notice the Striker 4 and Striker Plus 4 both are capable of 200 watts of power, while the Striker Plus 4 CV is rated at 300 watts. I'd also like to draw your attention that these ratings are at RMS, which is basically a continuous power rating, which is going to differ from peak power ratings you often see on electronics items. Moving on to the sonar features and specs, You'll notice that all three Garmin Striker 4 fish finders have dual beam capabilities for both the 77k Hz and 200kHz frequency range. This also includes the chirp sonar capabilities in both the 77 and 200kHz frequency range. I do want to draw your attention to the Striker Plus 4 CV and the available Clearview 455 and 800kHz sonar frequency that's supported. The Garmin Clearview sonar is going to give you that wide photographic image of what's passing below your boat. You're going to clearly be able to make out the structure, submerged object, and even fish. A whole lot easier, especially when paired with Garmin Chirp traditional sonar for remarkable target separation, this transducer combo is definitely going to help you catch more fish. Now let's talk about beam width. Basically this is your sonar cone angles. Now I won't spend a lot of time here, but if you want to learn more about sonar frequencies and sonar cone angles, I'm going to put the links in the description and you'll see some links pop up above of some previous videos I've done that go in depth explaining sonar frequencies, both traditional and chirp, along with beam width and sonar cone angles that will help you better understand what's going on below your boat or kayak. Looking at the max depth, you'll see that all three fish finders are capable of about 1,900 feet. But keep in mind, that's in ideal conditions. All three fish finders also give you the option for the bottom lock feature and gives you a digital readout for depth, speed, and temperature. As you can see, all three fish finders come packed full of great features, such as split screen zoom, ultra scroll, which is going to be great, especially if you're searching for fish at higher speeds, or trolling. Fish Symbol ID, which you can learn more about from a previous video by clicking on the link above or clicking on the link in the description. Auto Gain, which functions the same as your sensitivity settings. An adjustable depth line, which you can use to find the exact depth of objects throughout the water column. And the A-scope, which gives you a real-time display of what's passing through your transducer beam. Talking about GPS features, the Garmin Striker 4, Plus 4, and Plus 4 CV all are equipped with the ability to mark waypoints and record tracks. Now it sets the Garmin Striker Plus 4 and the Striker Plus 4 CV apart from the standard basic Garmin Striker 4 is the addition of the Quick Draw Contours mapping feature. What makes the Garmin Quick Draw Contours a really cool feature is the fact that as you're driving around or fishing your local bodies of water, the Garmin mapping software is creating an HD map of your bodies of water. A lot of times smaller lakes, rivers, they don't have any custom maps available or any type of maps that you can purchase or look at online as far as depth. Well with the Garmin Quick Draw Contours, 
that's no longer an issue. As you're going around fishing your local bodies of water, the Garmin's going to be creating its very own detailed map with one foot contour lines of that body of water. And what makes it even better is you can never run out of space as it can hold up to 2 million acres of mapping. Another important aspect to which Garmin Striker Fish Finder is going to be right for you is going to be your budget. Now the good news is that all three Garmin Striker 4 Fish Finders are feature packed. Starting with the base Garmin Striker 4, you're getting a 3.5 inch screen fish finder with traditional and chirp sonar, full GPS functions, all for $119.99. For $139.99, you can step up to the Garmin Striker Plus 4, which gives you the addition of the Quick Draw Contours feature, which is going to be especially useful if you're interested in mapping the contours of the bodies of water you fish. The top of the line Garmin Striker Plus 4 CV comes in at $179.99. The Striker Plus 4 CV gives you the addition of the clear view sonar, which is going to help give you that picture perfect clear view of the bottom underneath your transducer. Here's a little hint, be sure to check out the links in the description below as a lot of times you'll be able to find the Garmin Striker 4 series of fish finders at a deeper discount. Now as you can see, all three Garmin Striker 4 fish finders come with ample features. I hope this video has helped you wade through all those features and determine which features are right for you and your budget. As always, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like, comment, and share with all your friends. And we'll see you next time on the water. Mm -hmm.